Hey everyone, Cameron here from McLaren Racing. Today I'm going to do a video on how to get your McLaren ESC out of the box, set up, calibrated, and then connected to the wireless link module. This will apply to all of the McLaren ESCs, including the MX Pro, MX Pico, the MX8, um, the DRK, and the M32T ESCs. So first things first, after you get your ESC out of the box, is to install the fan. There is one correct way to install the fan, and that's with the fan blades facing upwards. I'll show an image right here so you can see what I mean. Uh, the fan frame is supposed to be sitting on top of the ESC with the fan blades exposed to the open air. If you install it upside down, the fan blades will get jammed up on the ESC and then it will burn up the fan and it will start smoking a little bit. A lot of guys install it incorrectly and they experience this problem. So just make sure you install it correctly, you'll have no problems with it. Next thing is um, getting your ESC soldered up to your motor and battery. Um, soldering is pretty, I'd say, not dangerous task, but it's uh, tedious and you need to do it right. Um, soldering it incorrectly can burn things up and it can damage your ESC. One also note is to not run bullets between your ESC and your motor. The best way to wire your motor is directly from the ESC to the motor. Some guys are asking if it's uh, an option to run bullet connectors in between, that way they can swap motors easily. It's not really um, great. It it introduces a lot of resistance in the system and it can mess up with the ESC. So we don't recommend running bolts in between. If you're not comfortable soldering, I would find somebody who is. Like I said, if you mess it up, it could kill your ESC or it could hurt your motor if you don't do it right. So find someone who's comfortable soldering and has done it before. Um, so once you have it installed on your vehicle, we're gonna do some calibration. So let's hop into that. To start off the calibration process, just make sure that your ESC wire is plugged into your receiver correctly. As you can see on the little tab of your receiver wire, there's a little S at one of the corners. Make sure that S is facing towards the inside of your receiver. That S stands for signal. And also make sure it's plugged into channel two. Channel two is for your, your ESC. Channel one is for your steering servo. So once that's plugged in correctly, bring your radio nearby and make sure that your endpoints are at 100% for both throttle and brake. Um, your endpoints could also be called dual rate on some transmitters. Um, just make sure those are at 100%. Some transmitters as a dial or a knob. Some transmitters, it's in the computer menu. Just make sure throttle and brake are at 100%. And then once that is all set up, um, you're going to want to hold full brake and then turn your ESC on. Keep holding full brake. You're gonna hear a couple of chimes, just keep holding full brake. All right, it's found full brake, now pull full throttle. Okay, it's found full throttle. Now go back to neutral. It's gonna start up. And you're good to go. Um, in the case that your BSC does not enter calibration mode, um, like I said, make sure your brake's at 100%. Um, and if that is already 100%, try reversing your throttle channel. Some um, transmitters, it's going to be as a little switch on your radio. Some that might be in the computer menu, depending on the transmitter. So if it does not enter calibration mode, um, like I said, try reversing the throttle channel. Or just double check to make sure that your receiver wire is plugged in. Um, the signal channel is on the inside for 99% of receivers, but um, it's worth a shot flipping it around so the signal's on the outside if that's your last case resort. Um, but other than that, if you follow along step by step, you should be good to go. So now I'm gonna talk about plugging in the wireless link and getting that set up. All right, so with your wireless link in hand, plug it right into the micro USB port on your ESC. Um, I'm using the MX Pro ESC, but this is the exact same for the DRK and the M32T ESC. Um, for the M32T, your wireless link will come with a little adapter that adapter is going to plug into the USB-C port on the M32 and then this is going to plug into the adapter. Um, like I said, the M32Ts have a M32Ts have a different plug, so that's why the adapter is included. So once you plug your wireless link into your ESC, turn your ESC on. The blue light indicates it's ready for setup mode, which is good. Um, and then I'm going to head over to my phone now so you can see exactly what I'm doing on my phone. Um, just a quick note that this wireless link needs to be unplugged from your ESC 
to get it to run. The ESC will not fully boot up. It will not be able to drive with the wireless link plugged in. So just make sure that you unplug this when you're ready to take a pass or take some laps. All right, so now I'm headed to my phone. All right, so first things first, let's go to the App Store and download the McLean Wireless Link app. Just go to the App Store and search up McLean. It should be the first one at the top. And then download that. Okay, and now we're gonna go and open that app. And then the first thing you wanna do is actually go to settings and then hit fetch firmware database. Fetching the firmware database before you connect to the wireless link, um, it can solve some problems down the road. So as a quick um, way to avoid some problems, just go to the settings tab first before you connect. Hit fetch firmware database and you're good to go. All right, now go back to your settings app for your phone. Go to the Wi-Fi tab and then click on the McLaren wireless setting. The default password for this is 12345678. That's the default password for all of the McLaren wireless links. Then hit join. It's gonna connect up here. Okay, so now it's connected. Now I'm gonna go back to the McLaren app. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you hit okay when this screen pops up. Um, if you hit don't allow, you're pretty much saying that the ESC is not allowed to talk to your phone and that's not gonna work obviously, so you need to hit okay. One quick note, when this screen comes up on your McLean app, um, make sure you hit use cellular data. Don't hit keep trying Wi-Fi. Um, this screen might pop up at any point when you're using the app. It's pretty random as to when it happens, but when it does, just make sure you hit keep using cellular data. So the first thing you wanna do after you hit okay in that setting page is go to connection and then hit configure SSID and password. This is the first thing you need to do before you do any sort of uh, setting on your ESC. So then I named my SSID is CSR McLean Wireless and my password is Team McLean. You can name it whatever you want, it's up to you. And once you're done, hit save. Okay, and now it's successfully saved settings. So now it's gonna drop that current Wi-Fi connection. So you need to go back to the settings app and then rejoin the connection you just created as mine was CSR McLean Wireless. So tap on that. My password was Team McLean. Hit join. And like I said, that's whatever password you create, it's up to you. So now it's connected to that new Wi-Fi network. So now when you go back to the McLean app, you should be ready to go. It's gonna connect here real quick. All right, now it's online. Top right says online and Max Pro, which is correct. And now you're still in the connection tab, so hit back. And now you can program your ESC. You can change any of the settings as if you were on the PC or the Android device. It's the exact same screens, all the same settings, everything. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to post on the DRK page on Facebook or the Nickelodeon Offroad page on Facebook. So go make some passes, go do some laps. Happy racing. You guys take care.